Thank you, sir. This is the final question, and then they will have two minutes to do the closing comments. Uh, this goes uh, to uh, Representative Davis first. As a Democratic gubernatorial candidate, what will you do to sway the Republican voters to say that you are the candidate that they should vote for? You mean they're Republican voters in Houston County? <laughs> I will say to them, don't judge me based on what somebody in Washington, D.C., or California, New York thinks. I'm a Democrat who's running for governor of Alabama. You can be a fiscal conservative and be a Democrat. I've been one for seven years in Washington. You can be a person of faith who believes that God orders each and every step you make and still be a Democrat. You can believe that our social values can be translated into common sense social policy and still be a Democrat. You can believe in a strong national security that believes that our value system is the best in the world and still be a Democrat. So you've got to let people know that. The reason some national Democrats don't do well in Alabama is they don't show up. They don't make the case. You show me somebody who's won an election by never showing up. I'm going to be in this state on the ground telling you not what somebody believes in Washington, but what I believe, what my values are, what I want to take this state. And the final thing I'm going to say to them is party is not going to solve, and partisanship is not going to solve the problems facing our country. There is no Democratic or Republican way to build up the wire press. There's no Democratic or Republican way to create jobs. There are good common sense ways that we Democrats and Republicans can find working together. And the final question to you the same. As a Democratic gubernatorial candidate, what would you do to sway the Republican voters to say that you are the candidate that they should vote for? Well, I've had to do that twice, statewide. I've won two statewide elected offices. And I wouldn't be standing where I'm at today if it wasn't for folks just like you. You know, I won 62 out of 67 counties across the state of Alabama. Ladies and gentlemen, I didn't lose a county in the Wiregrass. I think I've showed that I've got the ability to reach across party lines and make decisions that makes Alabama better. I've worked with Harry and Smith on many, many issues. I've worked with your other representatives down here. Folks, I just believe that sometimes we wear those R's and D's a little too high on our shoulders. And then, then we get in there and we don't do the job that the people expect us to do. I think you've seen me work for the past seven years. I don't think you've seen me inject politics. I'm a hard worker. I'm going to be honest and I'm going to tell you the truth. But you have humbled me by allowing me to win two statewide elected offices in the state of Alabama. Thank you.